Hey gang, and welcome to your very first TypeScript tutorial. Now, just really quickly before we start the tutorial, for those of you who want to support the channel and join the gang officially, you can do by clicking that join button right here. It's just 99 cents or pence per month, and you get these cool little ninja loyalty badges next to your name in the comments down below when you leave a comment. You can also join by clicking the button right beneath the video if you're watching one now, which I'm guessing you are, it does exactly the same thing. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's get on with the tutorial. So what is TypeScript then? Well, basically TypeScript is a programming language which can be used as an alternative to JavaScript. Now it's actually known as a superset of the JavaScript language, meaning that it basically extends the language with new features and syntax. So it can do all of the same things that JavaScript can do, but it also comes with extra features and a new syntax to boot as well. Now, Browsers, by default, they do not understand TypeScript like they do JavaScript. So when we write TypeScript, we then have to compile it down into JavaScript in order for browsers to understand it. Now, do not let that extra step put you off using TypeScript because in most cases, it's very easy to compile it down and TypeScript comes with a load of useful features. And the first of those features is that it allows us to use strict types. Now that means that if I declare a variable in TypeScript to be a certain type, like a number, I then can't change that type later on in that variable to a string or a Boolean or something else. And that means that all of the error checking process and debugging of our code becomes a little bit easier. And it also forces us to write cleaner and better code that is less error prone to begin with. Now, JavaScript in contrast to that uses dynamic types where variables can change types at any point, and that could potentially lead to more errors, okay? So that's the first benefit of using TypeScript. Now, we can also use modern features as seen in later versions of JavaScript that might not yet be fully supported directly in browsers. Uh, these could be things like arrow functions, let, const, destructuring, etc. So all of those features that are not automatically supported in every single browser, we can use those in TypeScript. And because that's then compiled down into JavaScript, it's older JavaScript, which the browsers do understand. OK, so this is similar to something like the Babel or Babel compiler, which allows you to use modern JavaScript features. Now, finally, TypeScript also includes extra features that don't appear in JavaScript, things like generics, interfaces, tuples and more. And we're going to see all of that stuff later on. Now, before you start this course, I would expect that you already understand JavaScript, things like the DOM, maybe asynchronous code, modern features like arrow functions, classes, etc. because this course is designed to teach TypeScript to those who already understand JavaScript. Now, if you don't, I would strongly recommend you start with a JavaScript course. I've got one right here on YouTube and also a full one on Udemy, Modern JavaScript for Beginners. I'll leave the link to both of those courses right down below. As well as that, you're going to need to have Node.js installed on your computer as well. And this is so we can use NPM, the Node Package Manager, to install and compile TypeScript. Now, you don't need to understand how to work with Node.js. We just need it for NPM to install TypeScript. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. But if you don't have it installed, definitely install it here, nodejs.org, and click on this button right here to download it and go through the install wizard. Now, you also need a decent text editor. I'm going to go with Visual Studio Code, which is my favorite at the minute. And this comes built with TypeScript support, but you can use whichever one you want. And also, I've done course files for every single lesson in this playlist. You can find them at this repo right here, TypeScript Tutorial. This link is going to be down below in the description. And each lesson is going to have its own branch right here. So if you want to see the files or the code rather for lesson seven, for example, you find the lesson seven branch from the branch drop down, click on that and you're going to see all the code right here. So as we learn TypeScript, we're going to put together a very small little project, which is just a finance logger. It's a basic form down here where we can log either payments or invoices. We can enter in the details and then add them to the list. So for example, if I want to log a payment to Luigi for 
some marketing work and pay him, you know, 200 pounds. I can add that. And then it says we have a new payment. Luigi is owed 200 pounds for marketing work. I could change this into an invoice and that could be to Ken and that could be for some copywriting. And that would be 300, add it. And that's logged as well. So this is the mini project that we're gonna be building in this tutorial series using TypeScript. And it's gonna teach us all of the different things that we need to know to get up and running with TypeScript. And finally, we need to install the TypeScript compiler onto our computer. Now, this is something that compiles our TypeScript code into regular JavaScript, because remember, browsers do not understand TypeScript. TypeScript is just a language that makes things cleaner and easier for us during development. But when you come to deploy your code to the web, it has to be compiled down into regular JavaScript first of all. So let's install the TypeScript compiler. You want to open up a command prompt or terminal, and then you just need to say NPM. And this is why we needed node installed for NPM. And we're going to use NPM to install hyphen G, which means globally on our computer, the TypeScript compiler so just typescript like that press enter it's going to install it on your computer for you and now we've done that we'll see how to use and compile typescript in the very next lesson if you do like these videos my friends please don't forget to share subscribe and like and i'm going to see you in the very next one